This is a beautiful point to observe. The gold to get back its own status, own brilliance, goes through purification. And interestingly, why we take a gold example in our traditional teaching? Because pure gold cannot be used for any ornament. It's an interesting thing to note. Unless and until they add something, copper especially, unless and until they add some other metal into the gold, that gold cannot be used for any ornament. So also the Brahman by itself is brilliant like gold but useless. Can you see this point? Only when something is added as though and in the name of Maya that is being useful. The universe, the, source, the creation, everything comes to an existence. That's why everywhere the gold example is being taken very conveniently. So that's why here is being said how this gold goes through heating system, purifying system, through which all the malam is being taken out a bond, get dropped. But the gold remains. So also, and once it happens, then what happens? The gold remains as gold. Swatma gunam samuchati. So whatever had come on the way, it goes away. So also, me as Brahman, many things have come. So what are they come? Mainly three gunas. <laughs> Sattva, Raja, Tama. We have seen in, especially Panchadasi first chapter in details. So when these three gunas come in and creates all sort of issues and they are called here mala, they are called as impurity. And this impurity that comes in the mind and dhyanena santyajya samethi. So this can be taken care, this can be managed, this can be really driven away with the help of dhyana meditation. That's why spending more and more time for one's own self in meditation helps the person to become more and more sattva. Next. Oh, oh, 62. This is my problem. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, very good. See what happens earlier it was when I print, so I have to search where are the pages, okay? Nirantara Bhyasa Vasat Adittam Pakkam Mano Brahmani Liyate Yada This also we had seen it. क्या बात है तदा समाधि सभी कल्प वर्जिता स्वतद्वया नंदरसानुभाव कह दिस आल्सो आई हैड ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड 
you people uh, I, I was thinking the teacher is not well prepared i also noticed students also equally not prepared huh? so okay now we all are together time pass what is there <laughs> hey please this is not going to work okay so nirantara abhyasa vasat because in fact i took little bit longer time on this nirantara abhyasa so that's why i could catch this point so how about so here the consistency is the key so because one single blue moon because today is full moon so okay so one single blue moon i do meditation and especially yoga people okay full moon meditation new moon meditation saturday meditation you should see the you know terminology okay holiday meditation <laughs> holiday or holiday whatever okay <laughs> so all this meditation tricks and techniques you know better for what okay let me not get into in details doesn't look nice okay <laughs> especially yoga people when they advertise for meditation for mainly two purpose i'm sorry to attract crowd and to get some money nothing else niyante means niyante i am sorry but this is the truth this is the reality see this full moon meditation blue moon meditation saturday meditation means as though when you don't have anything to do because because there is a big market suppose if you do full moon meditation there will be a big group Don't know why this all the lunatic fellows who go crazy on full moon day. So they feel comfortable. So today meditation is there. So through that mind becomes calm. So okay, that is really big contribution they do it. I respect. Okay. So all lunatic fellows you get good nothing wrong. Please understand they will sustain your center. Okay, they will sustain everything. Please we have to respect them. that also you have to be little careful okay or else you will be unwanted remember that <laughs> what i'm highlighting here is what you are doing what you are not doing that is not my point to communicate here communication here is very clear that there should be consistency so once i do meditation even if you start with full moon day with somebody or group tell them to spend some time every day the full moon day new moon day or saturday any other day can be the beginning point and also can be a renewal process but you have to communicate to them a hey boss every day spend at least 15 20 minutes close your eyes even if you sleep no problem 15 to 20 minutes just close your eyes let it be morning let it be evening let it be any time i expect only 15 to 20 minutes if they can increase to 30 minutes better at least 15 to 20 minutes so this is to be injected in students mind let there be consistency because why this point i am highlighting here is when we do not do meditation regularly you will discover mind will get into more and more mechanical process and mechanical process of functioning is nothing in your writing reactions in our life the more i am mechanical in my life the more i prone to react unnecessarily just observe this point because when my mind functions mechanically 
I am comfortable. No challenge, known field, unknowingly known field. Now some variation happens. Some changes happens. What will happen to me? Will I react or not? So that's why if I spend some time, even a 15, 20 days in a given day, minimum, more than that is most welcome, you will discover that at least 15 to 20 minutes you are able to apply break or see your mechanical thinking. And that is what is being highlighted, Nirantara Abhyas. And because of that reason, Tat Itham Pakkam Iti. So when you say Tat Itham Pakkam Iti, then only you will see this mind thus will be purified. Then only Brahmani Liyate. Because mind will start withdrawing from external object. That's why the moment you close your eyes, one interesting thing happens. First, you forget the place. The moment you close your eyes, whether you like it or not, you forget your place, the place, location. Because you get into your location, okay? <laughs> Imagination. <laughs> Whether this is healthy or not healthy, but don't worry. First, you close your eyes, you forget location. After some time, you forget time. These two, Desha and Kalam, are forgotten or ignored or you become indifferent by default, just by closing your eyes. Then third one is called Patra, the me, my likes and dislikes, that continues. And that is to be handled, that is to be managed with the help of mantra, with the help of pranayama, with the help of all sort of tricks and techniques and of course with the help of the teaching, dwelling upon the teaching. The patra, the individual, to be managed, to be handled. And once the individual is being handled, you will discover that all my likes and dislikes, because I am dwelling upon the individual. Now this individual is being handled, managed. Now I am no more dwelling upon likes and dislikes. No more dwelling upon my own car. Do not no more dwelling upon my insecurities and other things. Slowly, I will be able to dwell upon me, myself, the Brahman. And they says, look, once this happens, yada, then what happens? When it happens, tada, when this happens, tada, samadhi sankalpa varjita, swataha advyanandar sanubhavaka. Then only Anubhavak, the person starts enjoying it. So what he enjoys? Enjoys that this Advyananda Rasha, the Ananda Rasha, the happiness, that which is Advaya, that which is non-dual, means unbroken, continuous. In fact, this is what we call Nirvikalpaka Samadhi. So from Savikalpaka Samadhi, the person gets into Nirvikalpaka Samadhi. That's why I need to see the path from the individual. That is me meditating. That's why meditate upon meditator, not upon object of meditation. So in the beginning, we do meditate upon the objects of meditation. Later on, I need to meditate upon the meditator. Who is meditating? So once this meditator is being meditated upon, 
Now we discover the meditator does not exist. So when the meditator itself does not exist, himself or herself, finally itself does not exist. Because why itself? First it becomes himself or herself. Because very neutral, I am meditating. Slowly you will see the distance. So the meditator has to be itself. Means developing the sense of objectivity. So once the meditator becomes itself, you will discover meditator will get it dropped. That is what is called Nirvikalpaka Samadhi. Let us read next. Samadhinani na samastavasana Granthe vinaso khila karmanasha Antar vahi sarvata eva sarvada Surupa bisputi rayat natasya. So interestingly, when you look at this samadhi, it's nirvikalpaka samadhi. So by the help of this nirvikalpaka samadhi, when the person gets into in this samadhi, what happens is generally people focus this as end goal. This is the problem. This is not the end goal, this is a process. Yoga people, why yoga and Vedanta differs here? In yoga, Nirvikalpaka Samadhi is the end goal. Without discovering or discussing that Samadhi also is another Anga. Anga means limb or part. When you say Ashtanga, my hand is one anga. So anga means limb, part. So there are eight limbs, eight parts, eight steps, you can use the word, eight portions. Now, how can we, suppose head, let us say the anga. Maybe the head is very critical anga, but head by itself is me. Not me. I'll be called as only headless fellow. You understand? Brainless fellow, I can understand, but headless fellow is very dangerous, okay? <laughs> or only head fellow, okay? <laughs> Bloody headed fellow, okay? That is the expression, okay? Bloody headed fellow. <laughs> However, let us not get into. <laughs> However, so also Samadhi can be the head of important angam of the yoga but that itself is not complete can you see this point so that nobody talks however here samadhi is very good we look at as angam and it is a being process it takes care of many things that's why say samadhina anena samastha vasana granthe vinasa Once the person gets into this samadhi, definitely has to allow all these basanas to fade away. In fact, unless and until all the basanas are being faded away, the person cannot or will not be able to get into nirvikalpaka samadhi. It's a very amazing thing happens. Even there is a little bit slightest thing, again you will come back. It will not happen. Because it is a process and you have to work months together. Some cases years together. Then only you discover the mind slowly starts, you know, settling down. Completely well focused, one pointed is amazing. So that is what is being highlighted. Then automatically all these vasanas will be destroyed. And not only that, antar vahi sarvatra eva antar vahi sarvatra eva sarvada surupa vispruti ayatnatahasyat 
so if you observe once this happens interestingly what will happen first thing is that akhila karma nash end of all actions because there is no actor so when the actor is not there all actions will come to an end and once this happens then what happens antar bahi sarvatah eva sarvada sparupa visputi ayatratmasyat so definitely antar bahi everywhere sarvatra sarvada always everywhere every anywhere you want to see definitely the manifestations of one soul self will happen spontaneously in fact the person will start seeing anything and everything as one soul self so here is not sitting on the closing the eyes on nirvikalpa samadhi okay is not like that please <laughs> in fact the beautiful expression goes okay which uh, really about this oriya baba i remember uh, once in a while few stories i know about him but unfortunately i have neither have seen him especially akhnanand ji maharaj used to talk about him so there is another point let me not get into <laughs> so because akhnanand maharaj used to say because this another person akhnanand maharaj one of the uh, great person he used to say that odia baba ji is my guru but odia baba ji will say i don't have any chela i don't have any disciple <laughs> that's another person okay let us not get into how so this akhnanand maharaj used to quote say like you know one day there was some wound in his hand odia baba's hand so some pause was there and he was lying down so when he was lying down automatically you know ants started coming and ants were eating the pus and what he did so he was watching them so while watching them so all over he thinking what is going on <laughs> nicely he was watching so when he changed little bit hand here and there somehow some of the ant fell down so when they are filling down what he is doing very carefully he is lifting one after another and putting it back there eat it <laughs> so somebody asked what are you doing swami ji he understood He said, "No, no, because their food, they have see, because a uh, hand somehow moved, so this fellow has fallen down. So it doesn't look nice because struggling poor fellow. Let me help." You watch. Same thing also. Another story goes. Lot of stories we do have. Forget about stories. You can see for yourself. when you are attached to anybody or anything do you see that person or that object everywhere or not <laughs> imagine okay if you don't understand i'll give you the clear example okay suppose you love somebody so when you love somebody and that person has got a dog now you see similar type of dog on the road now what will you see did that dog come what happened maybe i should go and catch this dog and take back to their home you understand so you don't see anything other than the loved ones can you see this point same thing also object if you love some object suppose i love too much the specs now if i see anywhere this this set of specs similar type of specs what will happen to me <laughs> is it mine or what and even if it is with me how could he get the same thing 
You understand? It should not happen. So what I am highlighting here is if it can happen, it, if it can happen with reference to the ordinary way of association attachment, which is a time bound, which is space bound. What to talk of the truth, the reality, understand, of truth and reality. This is what happens and the person is always happy. Let us read the next. Srute satagunam vidya mananadapi nididhyasam laksha gunam anantam nirbikalpakam So here it says that he divides very carefully that mananam, sravanam, mananam and nitidhyasanam he divides. So says that mere listening to srute satagunam vidyat mananam iti. So may you know Vidya, what mere listening to the scripture, you have to add mere, like going to the no, Ramayana. <laughs> so after listening to Ramayana, seven days, day in and day out. So you ask the question, will you please tell me? There is one doubt. So for the person no, who was giving this course and Ramayana, so one person there was in the front every day. So after seven days, when it got over, Ramayana. So he asked, seven days actually go long, goes longer, but seven days I'm just putting it, okay? <laughs> so he asked the question, do you have any question, anybody? So this person who was in the front always attentively listening to it, he said, yes, I have a question. This person was so serious, wow. Please ask the question. What is that question? Say, look, only you are talking three words I could understand. Rama, Ravana and Devil. Will you please tell me, Rama is a devil or Ravana is a devil? Rama, Ravana, Asura. Okay? Now tell me, who is a devil, Rama or Ravana? This is my confusion. And of course, the person who was giving discourse, he said, to be very honest, neither Rama was a devil, of course not Ravana. But me, devil, talking to you, devil, <laughs> for last seven days. This is called mere listening to. Another example. So this is nothing entered, he is talk with. Another listening, very nice. So there was a lady, I can bring a lady, okay? Means basically emotional person, there is nothing with lady, okay? So that's why I'm putting elderly lady. So he, she used to come and attend one class. This Ramayana discussion on class is going on. So this Swami was having very ordinary beard, like no, like this sort of beard, long one, not good beard at all. So small, and he used to talk. And this lady used to listen. In fact, sometimes she used to cry. So this uh, Swami was very happy. Wow, there is somebody really you know listening to me and also getting carried away. Wow, what a Great listener. So this discourse got over a few days. After that, one day she asked. He asked, really, I'm very happy to see you as an audience. Look, how do you feel? Then she said, yes, I feel very good. So what did you understand? He said, what understanding? 
She asked, said, what understanding? No, you are listening to and whenever I was talking, sometimes you cry. Yes. Now what? Actually, I had a goat. Few days back, the went way I went away somewhere, did not come back. And the goat was very dear to me, attached to me. Always used to come and talk to me, spend time. We used to do no move with each other, hate each other very nicely. And interestingly, I see the goat had beard towards end. And that beard and your beard matching perfectly. So when you were doing like this talking, so I was imagining that my goat is talking to me. And that's why thinking of goat, I was crying. And for this sake, I, I was coming to listen to you every day. <laughs> In fact, Pujo Samaji used to say, Hey, look, when you see that, thousands of people are listening to me, coming to listen to me. You know Chennai especially, will give this joke for Chennai. Chennai in summer, people want air conditioned room. <laughs> so you have to understand what is the percentage of the people are coming for air conditioning. Also, you have to understand what is the percentage that listening to Swami Dayananda. <laughs> in fact, this percentage is much more high, okay? <laughs> and you have to also understand what is the percentage of the people are coming for networking. And organizer, if you put everything together, if I get one or two percentage that those who are really coming to listen to me, I am very happy. And I address only one or two percent, not everybody. This is called mere listening to, or else this verse will be highly, highly disturbing verse. So, mere listening to the scripture is not enough. He says, look, may you know, mananam means reflecting. So, what is reflecting? So, here mananam means not allowing your reasoning, your likes and dislikes. Because remember, every likes and dislikes has a logic. Without logic, can your any likes and dislikes be sustained, keep, be, will be maintained? Try. Not possible. The likes and dislikes continues because of your logic. And your logic always is backed up. This is what we say, likes and dislikes are being backed up by my logic. Now, that's why as a student we say, whenever teacher says something, if a teacher replies back, that means that person is not doing mananam at all. In fact, yesterday I was talking this point. When you ask somebody, moment you ask the person has already ready-made answer, better don't ask. Whoever the person may be. In fact, today it happened to me, <laughs> so I was talking to Ranjan something. Before I could say something, before I could complete, he has got already ready-made answer. Which is not healthy. So two statement, uh, he has already ready made answer. So when the person has in fact, I told, look, you are not a small boy, you are grown up now. I cannot catch hold of your ear and teach you, hey, do this, don't do that. Good. Wish you all the best because if you have already ready made answer, please continue. I have to tell this. So what I am highlighting here is a very good way of handling life. 
if you come across anywhere if the person whoever the person is son daughter wife husband parents student anybody if the person has already ready made answer god said don't waste your time at least you will have your peace of mind you understand what i am trying to say or else you waste of time so that's why what i am highlighting here is mananam helps or takes care of this aspect so that you don't give logic to your likes and dislikes so when you don't give logics to your likes and dislikes automatically logics when is not there likes and dislikes becomes weaker and shruti logic the teaching logic takes over you that's why mananam is a stronger is better 100 times better than mere listening to scriptures or else listening to scriptures will add all sort of logics to your likes and dislikes and that is what happens to many people and especially vedanta has a full of logic to support your likes and dislikes you can destroy in any way you want then he says not only that me you know mananat api nitidhyasanam laksha gunam now yes i understand scripture is good i understand scripture is right i understand teacher and teaching good they are right but i have my own problem <laughs> the teacher doesn't understand teaching doesn't understand he is talking from his standpoint he has to understand my problem my standpoint you understand <laughs> so this is called you know doing mananam <laughs> giving any bit of doubt to the teacher but not accepting so to eradicate that nididhyasana so nididhyasana means allowing your likes and dislikes to remain as likes and dislikes not allowing them to make any sort of decision in your life which long run helps to dwell upon myself or abide with myself so when this happens niti dhyasan definitely is lakshya guna mean better 100 times better than Thousand times one lakh. In fact, one lakh. Lakshya guna means one lakh. One lakh means it is a uh, uh, yeah hundred thousand times. So hundred thousand times better. And this is very sad. Then definitely nirvikalpakam. Nirvikalpaka samadhi is definitely better. That's why he says process first sravana mananam. niti dhyasana then nirvikalpakam why which is being put in different way here atma bare drashtabhya so here drashtabhya means to be seen to be understood so this is what he puts as nirvikalpaka samadhi so because atma to be understood so that's why what do you do srotabhyam mantabhyam niti dhyasitabhyam so it is to be heard it is to be reflected upon and it is to be meditated upon or contemplated upon so this statement is being put in this verse very carefully if this verse is not taken care properly looked at properly ha ah, swami ji that's why i don't listen to the scripture all the time i love to close my eyes i am in meditation constant meditation <laughs> then we'll say okay thank you very much what can we say more of it will say tomorrow please close your eyes oh.
ಓಂ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಜ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ